Hey guys, and welcome to another video, and uh, I hope you are doing well to this video. So if you have not uh, joined this playlist yet, just uh, join the playlist. I will be giving the link down in the descri description or on the top right corner with the card. So I will be uploading all the videos in one single playlist, which will be having all hacking videos. Let me just show you an overview of what I'm just talking about. So all the uh, videos are going to be in the... In this playlist let me just show you the playlist so as you can see here this is going to be the playlist where all the videos are going to be available so please access this playlist uh, right now just uh, save the playlist and then just watch it the playlist i will be uploading by you know by section by, by pop up pop you can already see i've uploaded eight videos more videos are on the way so don't worry guys i will be uploading videos soon in the court i'm just uploading i mean to say so Without wasting time, let's get into the video. So, what are we just gonna talk about today? Today, we're, we're gonna learn how to make docs while in cracking session. As for now, we have learned how to make keywords, how to make keywords like more in depth. But now, we're gonna just talk about the doc stuff because after making the keywords, we need to make docs of after the keywords. So, as you can see, already see while I got some keywords right here. You can see this my keywords so can reach means this is my actual keywords so in short I got like 315 keywords let me show you an example right now here all right so these are the keywords that I got here this was some of the introduction that I already talked about so now what we're gonna do now we're just gonna get started in the yeah I'll know uh, so we're gonna start with the docs uh, thing so there are different kind of doc stuff that you can do look uh, and, uh, type of dog that a uh, dog type of like dog making stuff is like uh, you know uh, you can use a tool that will generate docs for you but I'm really not gonna prepare to do that let me just show you a quick example like what I what actually a dog is so for that I'm gonna quickly make a new profile So making docs. So uh, in total, I'm, I'm going to show you an overview what a doc actually looks like. So uh, doc uh, probably contains uh, page type and uh, page format and uh, look, it has a page type. It has a page format. It has a keyword. It has a secondary. Uh, all right, so doc has a page type, keyword, secondary keyword. One second, let me just uh, remember that real quick. You know, I always don't remember those stuffs. What was that? It has a page type, it has a secondary page type, and uh, he, he also used some symbols in that. Mm, page type, one second. Uh, let me quickly remember that stuff. Paste that, paste that, paste that. You know. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, I know that. I'm paste that. Yep. Yeah, all this just being confused. All right. It has a paste type. It has a. All right. This is not actually like second keyword. It's also known as the X keyword. So it has a parameter. Well, parameters are also main component. We're gonna be just talking about the parameters in the doc session. So the doc session might last uh, a little bit more longer, as we're not talking about the doc parameters yet. But you know, y'all know this is like the thing we're gonna talk about. And this is page format, page type, blah 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 blah. Now let's talk a little bit more into the thing that I've just already told you. What's the page type? So a page type is like. Like if it's a dot HTML, if it's the dot PHP, or if it's a dot dot APX, or or if it's a dot C not CVC is the SPX extra. So you might have seen many pages with the like dot HTML or dot PHP, uh, like sign at the end. 
but mostly that what happens on the Google they are not like shown that they are php.html on the latest website because they just like kind of hide it but you know y'all know that is there but they just hide it but you can access that always in using the Bing browser let me show you if you're gonna go to bing.com and you know, if you're just gonna go search for any website like uh, let's say Netflix let me, I'm just trying to show you an example alright Mm, look, you can see here. This is a parameter that ID is equal to. So uh, where's the example that I wanted to show you? I guess another another page. One second. You all know these are like latest sites kind of stuff. So we're gonna use a particular uh, in URL. We're gonna need the uh, HTML. All right, we're getting the HTML, but it's like more like specified. Let's say only. We only want in, in URL dot HTML. Well, most of the site don't use like the dot HTML kind of stuff. Not the HTML, I meant to say. Dot HTML, probably. As you can see, dot ASP, these are showing the page types. Dot HTML, well, if I'm, if I'm gonna put the dot here, it's gonna be more accurate. Alright, you can see dot HTML. And uh, dot shtml, dot xhtml, those kind of stuff are like on the internet. So don't worry, gotta don't worry about that, guys. I already discussed about the page time. Now let's talk about the page format. Like, format. So page format is like uh, um, you might have seen me using that in, in title, the in text. Well, I'm just showing you mean we which we're, we're gonna use the in uh, URL. Uh, the site and uh, we're gonna also use the in text in your uh, entitled site and we can use the anchor one also uh, I don't quite remember the spelling of anchor but never mind you can use the link uh, well we need, we need to just put this colon along every single like every after every page format we're gonna use otherwise this will not look so extra well these are these are some of the main uh, page types that we're gonna use uh, because you really don't need like anything else else anything else than using those one uh, as they are like mostly specified in the main stuff in there are is also like info and extra stuff man this is like there are so many uh, page formats that you can use now a lot let's talk about does page format actually help you so you can also use the source one <laughs> I just need to mention that so what happens like you really want to just get to a specified website like specified target website and you like look if I'm gonna search for hack website Look, they're gonna give me they're gonna give me that results that are like at the that are like mostly ranked on Google by the SEO kind of stuff. But it really, if you really want some like some website that's really like containing some content really to do a uh, hack website, what you can do, you're gonna if you're just gonna type the entitle colon and the your know, keyword what you wanna search for, you, the Google will check if you, that uh, keyword is like you know available in the title section of that. Uh, website if it is they're gonna show you the, that website on the top and then according to that on the down on and descending order So you can use that in title to just get that thing And uh, to be more precise what you can do you can put some uh, quotes Before and after the keywords, so they're gonna be like a morally precise and they're gonna give you more precise uh, You know information about according to the website so you can see they're just trying to search for them They're gonna give, they're giving me like a different 
results now. Now what you can do if we're gonna like in, instead of going, using in title when you use the in text. So they're gonna search for if the the our keyword is present in here in the metadata of the website or you can see in the description of the website. So if they find our keyword is available in like a description of, of the website so they're gonna just like show us that a thing and uh, we can like get to know about that kind of like stuff. Well another thing is that uh, like you already know, I told you about the entitled in text. Now let's talk about the site. We will we only use this site uh, page format uh, only uh, when we are just working with a uh, like targeted website. Let's say I'm gonna only work with Netflix.com. So if I'm gonna search for look Netflix.com site double dot Netflix.com to be more precise, we're gonna use some quotes also. And if I'm, if I'm gonna hit Anna Romans second. Alright, ready for myself real quick. Now you can see they're only gonna yeah, they're gonna show me all of the pages that Netflix has uploaded on this website on their website. So like you can see literally those are some of the pages that you really don't know about. Some of the not the hidden pages, I mean just like there. Yeah, Netflix has uploaded so many things. But we all never know what I have, what kind of stuff Netflix is hiding from us. Not actually hiding from us, like whatever that Netflix has uploaded. So you can get to know all of that from here. You can just like not only go to Netflix.com and, and you talk about my website. I don't work, work with that anymore. But you can see there's to me 22 results and that's 100% accurate. I have not uploaded anything more than my site is not being like uh, shown in more than 22 pages. Like uh, this is not only my, about my site. Like they're going to show me some of my site uh, terms and condition. And they're going to show me on some other sites that, um, that might be connected with my site. Like packing and stuff, but mostly no. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm always a little bit confused. So they're only gonna show the page that I've uploaded on my site, like on the Eldony web, web website. So they're only they're a total of 22 pages. So they're gonna you can only see the 22 pages. So that's how it works. Site uh, the site uh, page format is like mostly like an into the stuff that we're gonna search for. All right, now we're, we're talking about the in your. Uh, so in the in URL part, what you can do, oh, when I search for that, all right. So in in URL part, what we're gonna do, like if we, if we like if you're gonna search for some particular type, let's say I uh, wanna search for uh, Stranger Things in the next section, and when I search for the Stranger Things on Google, they're gonna show me the YouTube YouTube kind of stuff, and I really want, I you really don't want like. YouTube, you really don't want to watch Stranger Things from YouTube. You want to watch Stranger Things uh, from uh, Netflix. Let, let's like just keep that in mind and let's get to the stuff. Let's say well, I want to get to the. I want to use Netflix as my main, uh, you know, website. And uh, what I want to search in there, it should have a title of let's say Stranger Things. Now you can see they're gonna show me result. Of the website that is Netflix and the what's the title? The title is Stranger Things. So you can do this thing like some of you, uh, like you might have already seen. I was searching for like Anon Files. Anon Files is a website where you can upload the you know hacking tools, and you can just specifically specifically search for that file. Like probably I'll, if I'm gonna search for any hacking tools, then I get me you're gonna show me any hacking tools because there are so many like websites that are just like talking about the tools they're not really giving the tools but you know where that you can find the tool so you can use the docs to access those kind of tools that's what uh, docs come in handy so that's how they can help you to get like get more precise to what i search for so those are like kind of like like that stuff they do, these kind of stuff don't do anything uh, more they're like the same like the link or in url the info about the same site like they're mostly used uh, for a country targeted site so you can just like a do a real quick search on Google about docs. Like docking is docs. It's not a, like a literary, you know, anonymous thing. You can find it on Google literally anywhere. Let me show you. Learn Google docs. You can see there are so many websites already teaching like ethical hacking, Google docking. Uh, what is Google docking? Like every single website, every single person will be talking about the Google docking because you know it's a like clear concept. Google has itself like uh, taught about, told about the Google doc, so there is nothing to hide. But now, what comes in handy uh, is like 
like how do you like liberally just can like uh, make the <coughs> I'm drink some water so the, the thing is you need to like it depends how you're gonna search for something like uh, editing like putting your dogs differently just putting in title first or in title after and the parameter kind of stuff is gonna change your search results so <coughs> we're talking about the page type we're talking about the page format now let's talk about the like this is the main keyword and this is the X keyword so like main keyword should probably be like uh, you know let's say add a mail and the X keyword is gonna be like mailer uh, add a mail uh, student form so something like that it could be something like that so this is like we're gonna do what we're gonna add our main keyword with X keyword like differently it, it could be like uh, we're gonna say like uh, add a mail plus mailer or we're gonna go like a uh, mailer plus add a mail uh, we can do like a uh, uh, add a mail slash mailer like there are so many things you can do of while docking the things you can just put a space before mailer space after the add mail space in between this one and that kind of stuff this is like the main keyword and x keyword stuff so I was talking about that now let's talk about the parameter well the parameters are a little bit you know you might have, have not heard about the parameters well parameters is actually not a like uh, like quite confusing stuff the thing is what is a parameter is like a basic concept that every single person should have so for that I'm gonna use a bing.com just to clarify myself more and why they redirect to me alright now let's talk about the parameters so we're gonna use probably precise things alright so like I was talking about the parameters like you can see here uh, before every parameter you will find a question mark sign this this question mark sign will be up before every parameter so you can just like it's gonna be like uh, like you know the link playstore.google.com slash store slash apps slash details now this is gonna be like question mark ID like question mark ID is equal so let me just show you a parameter example parameter example is gonna be like a question mark ID is equal to or it could be like question mark item is equal to or it could be like a question mark literally it could be like anything I can't just like specifically write anything about the parameters because you, you know you're never like fully like, specify what are you gonna, you're gonna talk about so I'm gonna go like a <coughs> uh, in URL uh, dot php so you can see the mostly the thing is uh, uh, popping up is the question mark id is equal to and there goes some value you don't need to like put any value here but you know, we're gonna just like fill up the value automatically the you know, our docking system is gonna fill up the value automatically but it's not always important it's gonna be like that you can see now it's capital id but i just wanted to show you that it's not always important that there should be id look like i told you you can see this like a question mark page is equal to category like there are two of the parameters in one thing like it could be really it would really matter from uh, time to time it could be like uh, question mark id is equal to question mark item is equal to uh, question mark uh, page is equal to so you know a uh, uh, particular parameter things you need to know that before parameter we use question mark and after parameter we use uh, is, is equal to sign and that's mandatory you know that's really important to use this thing well sometimes what we actually do while docking that's a different stuff I'm gonna just talk about that in the future videos but for now let's uh, like concentrate on the main thing what I what I actually mean uh, to say that is as you can see uh, question mark a Q is equal to C S C uh, like I told you it could be like different like question mark Q is equal to CSC 
And now we're not just talk, gonna talk about what is off, what is like, what, like what is gonna come after the question mark. So you know, that's a different stuff. That's a different stuff we're gonna talk about. But we need to concentrate like this color, like this, like parameter stuff. So you know, it is what it is. We're not gonna just discuss it. All the deep root of the parameter stuff. So uh, this was some of these was some of the basic information about the docs. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you. Uh, like I'm gonna just go into brief more into the stuff like how do you make actual docs? How do you learn making docs kind of stuff like that? So guys and I will see you in the next one Hope you are all reading enjoying the course if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet subscribe right now hit the like button and share my video